I have got the first three LEDs uh, set up inside. Just gonna run a very quick test. I'll switch the light off and put the uh, power on. And here is the outcome. Now this has only one stripe with three LEDs. I think I'm gonna be using three stripes for a total of nine LEDs. While now seems to be, at least on top of it, quite bright, uh, these holes are all going to be covered by the knobs, and by, by the dimmer, so the light will die down a little bit. So I think that ultimately with nine lights will be just fine. So let's finish up, we do another test, see how it looks like. If it's good, we do the same process for the other, uh, uh, the other three displays. I've placed in one little arm here, I placed my, uh, my three LEDs. And in this other arm, the cable. Right now they're not attached, as you can see. So I'll just position directly on the little metal thingy. And when I'm happy, I'll solder them together. This might take more than once. As always, I may get a little bit warm first. There we go, this is done, now we attach another cable, I have now nine LEDs here, uh, three strips. All we're gonna do now, the cables, they all come out of the back. We're going to put the plate on top of it. I'm going to screw the plate with the screws that I've just painted. And we're gonna start with the first connections and then test the entire first panel for the first time. And I'm going to measure how long the left part of the shaft, how much it sticks out basically. Here you go. Total of nine LEDs. Obviously the light that comes off directly from the holes is brighter than it should be. Um, and the LEDs are set at maximum, but what's important is the text, the wording that is on this little panel, the fact that it's uh, it's now bright. That's uh, that what that is pretty much what I'm going to care uh, later on uh, once it's fully installed. So I think that the test was successful. I can now concentrate in doing uh, the other three sides uh, by using absolutely the same methodology. To finish this up. Uh, I, saw, I put the first potentiometer. The potentiometer, as you can see, is really long. Uh, I need to basically cut it. And I need to, I need to, I'm putting the panel on top of it. That is 27.84. Then I'm going to see, this is the knob that we're going to put on top. Uh, I'm going to see how deep the hole is, and it is 7.84. The previous measure minus this measure is going to give me how much I need to cut off this. I'll leave just a little bit longer because I don't want the cap here to actually touch, uh, to touch here, I, I, I want it let's say a millimeter maybe off the plate. So I'll leave, I'll leave it a millimeter. The potentiometers are now all in and, and working. They're nice, strong, but what I did on the back side, I've added a strip of wood. Now I could have, I don't know, use epoxy or some type of glue and just stick them. 
uh, but just in case I needed to remove and I need to work of them, I really didn't want to them to put them really permanent. So I put this strip of wood here that does not allow twisting when uh, when I play with this. In order to fix the dimmer to the actual panel, I had to come up with, a, with an idea of a, of a fastener, basically. So I cut a, a piece of wood, carved out the size of the, of the bulk of the dimmer, and just put it and screwed it and glued it uh, right on top of it. Uh, this way, now basically the dimmer will come out here, I can attach the knob, and it's really, it's really strong. So we finished the dimmer and uh, as you can see, as you've seen from the test, uh, I'm very happy with the results. So guys, if you like this video, uh, I'd like you to subscribe uh, so you won't miss my next video coming out, you'll be notified every time I do so. And you're not going to miss the next part of this, uh, this project because what we're going to do is we're uh, going to work on the four potentiometers. So we're going to uh, connect the potentiometers, we do the wiring at the back here and then we will wire uh, the other side to a, a post card. Once again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.